once again, hello my dear pupils and to all the parents who are our partner in delivering this new normal in education. Thank you, my dear parents. So, let us now have your lesson for week 2 to week 3 in Science 4. I hope you already have already your learning activity sheet and your materials. You already know this because last week we already discussed the first topic. So for this week, for week 2 to week 3, the objective of the lesson is to describe changes in solid materials when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. After doing these different changes, what did you observe with these materials? So let us first have our discussion. So solid materials have definite shape and volume. Okay? May iba't ibang shape, may volume, yung iba't ibang solid materials. They have different characteristics or properties such as they have their size, they have their shape, color, texture, and weight. So, these solid materials can be changed. So, pwede natin silang baguhin. In what way? Paano? Okay, by cutting. Okay? Tearing. So, when you say tearing, pag pinunit natin yung material na ito, pwede natin itong mabago. By Folding, okay, by easily folding, okay, when you fold the material, the solid material, you are already changing its size. By hammering, okay, pag pinupok mo yung material. Twisting, pag pinilipit. Bending, stretching, pressing, coloring, crumpling, okay, melting, and other ways of changing the material. So those several actions that we will do might result to the change in size, shape, texture, and color of the material. When solid materials are bent, pressed, hammered, cut, only the physical appearance is changed. So, remember it, my dear pupils. Kapag yung mga solid materials yung change nyo based on what I said a while ago, kapag kinat nyo, kapag finold nyo, yung nagbabago lang sa kanya ay ang kanyang physical characteristic. Okay? And, there is no new material which is formed. After you did or after you change it, same material pa rin. Nagbago nga lang yung size shape or even texture. Kapag finold mo itong paper, okay, into this, is there a new material form? Wala, di ba? It's the same. Paper pa rin siya. So, that is what you mean by changing the characteristic of solid materials will just result to a physical change. Okay? So, yun na kapag when you bend, press, hammered, and cut the materials. Okay, what are the materials that can be changed based on when you bend it? Okay, so here are the materials that can be bent. Okay, broomstick. Okay, yung walis. Pad of paper. Plastic ruler. And other materials. Too much force applied during bending might lead the material to be broken. So, kapag masyado daw malakas yung ating pagkakabend sa materials, if we applied too much force in bending it, it might result to the breaking of the materials. For example, di ba yung ruler? Yung ruler na plastic, yes, it can be fold or it can be folded. But if you really fold it hard, then it can be broken. Yung broomstick, di ba? If you bend it, it will easily break. Next, 
when materials are pressed or hammered, kapag ito ay pinukpuk natin, minartilyo nyo, o kaya kinat, it changes its form, texture, size, or shape. Okay, for example, pressing or hammering a small stone. Okay, yung maliit na bato or yung pebble. Iba kapag pinukpuk mo yan using a hammer or using a big stone, it will easily break. Okay, sa cutting naman, cutting a piece of paper. Diba when you cut it, it changes its size or even shape. How about chalk? Oh, during face-to-face. -face. Okay, before, I observed some pupils who are hammering the chalk. Okay. So, hindi yung maganda ba din may mga yung mga naughty pupils before. Okay, so naalala nyo pa ba yan, my dear pupils? Okay, don't worry. Pag nag-face-to-face na, then uh, makakabalik ulit kayo. But then, huwag yung i-hammer ulit yung chalk, ha? Okay. Next, pressing your clothes or yung fabric, yung mga damit. Kapag ina-iron, di ba? Pinaplancha ni mama, ni papa. So, this actions that we are doing will lead to the change of size and shape of material. But again, doing this to solid materials will just result to a physical change. It will just change its physical form. And there will be no new material which will be formed. When you cut the paper, after cutting it, paper pa rin siya. If you hammer the stone, after hammering it, stone pa rin siya. Yes, nag-change yung kanyang size and shape. But still, its physical form is still there. Okay? Don't forget that. So, after having this discussion, let us now discover and explore more of our lesson by doing this simple activity. If the materials are available in your house, you can do it. But take note, if you don't have these materials, you don't have to go out of your house because again, bawal lumabas yung mga bata or pumunta sa ibang mga bahay para kumuha. Meron naman tayo ditong pictures. So may nilagay dito si Sir. So that will be your basis. So we have here some pictures. Okay? If you don't have a chalk, meron naman ditong picture ng chalk. And all of you already saw a chalk, di ba? Sa school. Next, aluminum foil. So, ayan. So, mga, sa mga hindi pa nakakita ng aluminum foil, ayan. Okay? Ito din. May iba na akong picture dyan. Ayan. Broomstick. Okay, yung walis ninyo sa bahay. Ayan. And then stone. So, all of this, you already saw this. And kung sa hindi pa nakakita, ayan, may picture style. Okay? So, this is what you're going to do. If you have those materials, you can perform this simple activity. And after doing this, you have to write your answer in the table provided. Sa chalk, okay, sa chalk, Okay, ito yung mga materials nyo, chalk, stone, paper, aluminum foil from junk food. Okay, pwede na yun kung meron kayo dyan. Broomstick. So, you, will, are, you are going to try everything. Each of this material, you are going to change it by bending it. Okay, by hammering it, by pressing it, or by cutting. And after doing it, you will write what happened to the material when you bent it. Ayan. So for example, sa chalk, when you bent it, what happened? You will write it here. One word is enough. Or two words. Then, when hammered, anong nangyari sa chalk when you hammered it? You can use a rock or hammer. When pressed, kapag uh, dininan ninyo, okay? When cut, okay, what happened? So, Bawat isa, you will try it. Because based from that, you will get your 
answer from the questions below. And at the same time, firsthand, you will see the changes that happen to these materials. O, di ba? Ito yung mga ginagawa natin sa school. But for now, dyan muna sa bahay nyo gagawin. So, for number one question, if you're already done, let us answer these questions. For number one, what did you do to the different materials to change them? Uh, you will just write, what did you do to change them? Okay, andyan na. Okay, you can get your answers from the table. Ano daw ang ginawa nyo para ma-change siya or ma-change yung mga materials? Number two, what happens to each material after bending, hammering, pressing, or cutting? So, after nyo magawa lahat ng yun, ano yung nangyari sa mga materials? Nagkaroon ba ng change? Kung nagkaroon ng change, ano-anong changes ito? Okay, my dear pupils, let's have activity number two. The direction is, you will just draw the following shapes to describe the changes that took place in each material. For every material, what, number one to five, if after doing the changes, for example, to number one, cutting of a piece of cloth, if the change is in shape, you will draw square. If change in size, circle. If there is no change, you will draw heart. And if there is a change in both the size and shape, there is a star. Yes, because sometimes after doing the different actions or changes, dalawa yung nagbabago, yung size niya at yung shape niya. So, take note ha, star ang ilalagay nyo. Good job, my dear pupils. Congratulations for doing activity 2. Let us now have activity 3. For activity 3, you are going to complete the statement. Write your answers on the blank or in another sheet of paper. Choose your answer from the box. So you are going to get your answers inside the box and you are going to write it on the blank. So just make sure that the statement is correct based from the word that you are going to choose in the box. I will give you an example. So activity 3, so paragraph, when materials are hammered, pressed, cut, and bent, there is a change in. Number one, ano yung mga changes na nangyayari? Isusulat nyo. So one, okay, kasi hindi lang isa. Ilagay nyo din kapag dalawa, sa two, sa three. Okay? So, meaning to say, there are three changes that happen. Don't worry, kahit hindi sunod-sunod, basta yung tatlong changes ay maisulat nyo sa blank. Then, for number four, there is but. Okay, ano kaya itong ibig sabihin nito? After these changes na mga nangyari sa, sa materials, but, what can you say? But, okay, fill it, fill it on the blank. Change your, an, uh, choose your answer in the box. And for number five, complete the statement. You may refer to the uh, discussion that we had a while ago. Congratulations, my dear pupils, for doing the activities. So again, for week 2 to 3, the topic is all about describing the changes that happens to solid materials. When they are bent, pressed, hammered, or even uh, cut. Okay? So, I hope you can already describe so, you will just describe, you will just determine what happened to those materials after doing those several actions or changes. Ano na yung mga actions na yun na ginawa nyo? When you cut it, when you hammered it, when you press it, when you uh, fold it. Alright. So, yun yun. So, I guess and I'm pretty sure that you are ready for the evaluation. So, please write your answer in your learning activity sheet. You will just write the letter of the correct answer on the blank provided before the number. For number one, Rose was playing with his modeling clay. As he pressed the clay, he was able to form or make different toys 
as shown in the pictures below. So, may, may, may nandyan yung mga pictures, ha? yung mga nabuo daw ni Rose. Question. Which of the following describes what happens to the modeling clay when it was pressed by Rose? Complete this sentence. The clay changed its. Ano yung nagbago sa clay after ginawa ni Rose yung uh, pag-model ng iba't ibang clay? Ano yung mga changes? Changes in what? Okay, choose from letter A, change in size and color. B, size and shape. C, volume and odor. Or D, volume and color. So, choose your answer and write it on the block. Number two, Rika tears a piece of paper. So, pinunit-punit daw ni Rika yung paper. What changes do paper underwent? So, there is a drawing below. So, ayan, makikita nyo naman dyan. Just refer in your learning activity sheet. Ano yung changes daw na nangyari sa paper? A. Change in size and shape. B. Change in color. C. Change in length and color. Or D. Change in texture. Write your answer before the number. Write your answer on the line provided. Number three, Lito bought several pieces of tie wire from the hardware. Accidentally, on his way home, some pieces of the tie wire were bent. So, yung tie wire, yung ginagamit sa, uh, minsan, ginag actually ginagamit niya sa construction ng mga construction worker. Or sometimes naman, si mama ginagawa yung uh, sampayan o yung alamre. Yan yung tie wire. So, describe what changes that happened in the properties of the tie wire when it was bent. So, after kasi binili ni Lito, napansin, napansin daw niya na nabend na yung wire. Okay, ano yung change na nangyari? A. Change in texture. B. Change in color. C. Change in length. Or D. Change in weight. Number four. When pressing or cutting a solid material, there is blank material formed. So, you will just complete the statement. When pressing or cutting a solid material, there is, okay, A, new material formed, B, no new material formed, C, chemical new material formed, I mean, letter C, chemical material formed, or D, Little material form. So, you will just choose which word will make it correct. And last number for number 5. Which of the following statement is correct? Letter A. Solid materials when pressed, cut, or bent will not cause any change at all. Is that true? Okay. If it is true, then you will write your answer letter A. Letter B, solid materials when cut, bent, or hammered will produce a new material. Okay. Letter C, cutting, bending, hammering, or pressing a solid material will make a physical change to the material. Or letter D, cutting and bending cannot make a change to any solid material. So, pili kayo kung alin sa mga binasa ko or sinabi ko ang correct or tama. Just write your answer on the blank before the number. So, before you proceed or to continue, if you're not yet finished answering the five questions, since if you are still reviewing it, you can pause this video because I will be showing now the correct answer for you to check if your answer is right or not. Okay? Please pause this video. Alright, so check your answers if you, it is correct or not. Okay, my dear pupils, we're done with our week 2 to 3. Congratulations!